I'm standing under this giant Morris Ruba tree, the red mulberry or American mulberry. Today, I'm going to take some branches from it and turn them into new trees by doing a process called air layering. Many fruit trees can be air layered. Uh, there are some that can't, like persimmons. Just found that out, didn't I, Nathan? But it's a pretty easy process. So what I did was I shaved uh, off this layer of bark and removed the cambium. The cambium is kind of like the nervous, uh, nervous system of the tree that pulls in a kind of a relay from the photosynthesizing leaves down to the roots. And by disconnecting it right here, we kind of trick it, keeping the energy from here up. It is essential to get the layer of cambium off. If any is left, it will reestablish its relay down to the roots. So I have a bag of 75% peat moss to potting soil, and I'm going to cut it and then wrap it like a hot dog bun around the sleeve that we cut off here. Like so. My soil is very moist, but if I squeezed it, I wouldn't have any dripping out. And now I'm going to wrap it in foil. Now, when it's all said and done, it looks like you got some leftovers from last night's meal hanging in your tree, but that foil helps keep the moisture inside so it does not dry out and helps keep it shady. So anywhere from one to three months, I can come and check this. And if I see roots, I can cut it below the notch that I made and then replant it. So if you're trying to build an orchard or something, you know, just research what trees can be air layered and do this process because it's cheap, it's effective. The only thing that it really costs you is a little bit of soil, some zip ties, some aluminum foil, some baggies, and time. Spring is a choice time to do this because the tree is waking up and it's stimulated. So all of the uh, juices and the moisture is flowing on the inside of the tree and it's beginning to photosynthesize. So spring is a good time to do this just as the trees are waking up. So stick around for whenever I come back and show you how to put it into the ground. Happy foraging, y'all.